This is a uh, lash up of a um, larger fourth axis I'm working on. These are parts that I've had on hand for a while. Um, the stepper motor is a NEMA 34 1600 ounce inch, which is it's a real monster. And as you can maybe see there with the ruler, the body of the stepper by itself is uh, six inches long. And it's pretty darn heavy. Um, <clears throat> it's about three, I think it's three inches, three and a half inches, it's three and a half inches square. And uh, <clears throat> I've just got it clamped up here on the bench to kind of see how it works. The spindle assembly is uh, a dividing head that I had made a number of years ago. I, I had a worm gear, a 40 tooth worm gear on the back and a worm with the dividing plates and everything. I removed all of those and replaced it with a 44 tooth uh, timing pulley. Uh, that's a 1 -fifth or 0.2 inch pitch timing pulley. There's a, that's a 20 tooth pulley on the motor and a 44 tooth on the uh, spindle. Uh, <clears throat> the spindle itself was made from an old, uh, from, a, from a, um, a lathe spindle off of a six inch atlas lathe. It has uh, Timken uh, tapered roller bearings in the head there. Um, the, sp the spindle itself has a one inch by ten threads per inch nose on it. And then the um, chuck is a four inch three jaw chuck and you can see I've got it set up here. I've got this ring with set screws in there so I can adjust it for zero run out or as close to zero as I can get. So <clears throat> I've got this um, stepper motor hooked up to my uh, controller back here. This is a Gecko G540 controller in that housing along with a 24 volt uh, 15 amp power supply. I've got the power and everything on. Over here you can see I've got uh, Mach 3 up and running and I'm on the uh, MDI interface uh, screen so I'm going to type in uh, I'm going to type in A a0 or A, A1. Uh, let's go for A2. Uh, here you can see I've just typed in an A2. And uh, I'm going to spin the camera around here and hit enter. So you can uh, watch it spin. Let's say uh, 12, I think I've got to set it, the spindle set at 12 inches per minute right there, which is. Uh, translates to actually 12 RPM in this case. Um, now I'll go ahead and type in A0. And you can watch the uh, display going back to, to zero up there in Mach 3. Anyway, that's it. Um, that will, uh, I'm going to have to build a more permanent arrangement for it obviously and then I'll be able to clamp it to my um, table on my mill drill and uh, should be able to do some pretty beefy things with it. Thanks for watching.